For the third time in her life, ethnic Armenian Elida Sergesyan is a refugee. She was born in the Azerbaijani capital, Baku. The city's once large Armenian minority were driven out in violence, triggered by the outbreak of ethnic conflict in Nagorno-Karabakh, an autonomous, primarily Christian territory within the mostly Muslim, then Soviet Republic of Azerbaijan. Having moved twice before, she is now sheltering in Armenia's masses, close to the border with Turkey. Since September, it has hosted around 8,000 refugees from Karabakh. Not that I was calm. I'm a refugee for the third time. I have got used to it somehow. But it is very difficult for the people who have left their homes for the first time. Now they are crying, but they will overcome this as we did. But the situation is in a deadlock. It feels like the heart is about to burst, and that is all. Sergesyan and her family fled to Soviet Armenia in 1988, then set up home in Nagorno-Karabakh, despite the fact that the mountain region was in Azerbaijan and at war with the government in Baku. In 2020, they lost another home, when Azerbaijan, by now closely allied with Armenians better noir Turkey, reconquered much of Karabakh in a second war. And in September 2023, after Azerbaijan retook the remainder of Karabakh in a lightning offensive, Sergesyan, by now 54, fled her home for a third time. She was one of the territory's 120,000 ethnic Armenians who suffered a nine-month Azerbaijani blockade of vital supplies from Armenia and refused to believe Baku's insistence that her rights would be preserved as a citizen of Azerbaijan. Many of the ethnic Armenians from Nagorno-Karabakh hurriedly abandoned homes and farms when Azerbaijan began its final assault on September 19th, and they have nothing. Alina Harutuyan fled with dozens of others in the back of an industrial truck. Now she, her husband and four children share one room on the ground floor of a derelict library. Armenia's government has provided them with two beds and a one-off $250 payment, but their lodgings have no utilities and are furnished only with child-sized tables and chairs. Like many refugees, the family has struggled to find work in Armenia, dependent instead on the kindness of locals. We would very much like to go back because it's our homeland, our birthplace. But to this day, we live in fear. We had a chance before when we were protected by our men in their positions. But if they take us and we are told we should live with Turks, then of course not.